All right, guys, so today we're talking about eBay, eBay, Amazon, Chinese parts. And since we just were doing the Porsche build, I've been ordering a lot of parts for this thing this week. And there is a new scam, as you will, going around. I thought you guys would really like to know about that. So what we're gonna do is go into the computer, we'll do a little screen record action, and we're gonna show you what I'm talking about so you guys don't have an issue of getting taken by that same scam. We're essentially gonna show you the difference between OEM and non-OEM parts. It's getting very tricky because all these companies are trying to fool you. So here is a gasket set. This is not the same one I was just looking at. This is an OEM Victor Rhines for Porsche. Now this would be the same for BMW, the same for Mercedes and all that stuff. So it actually has Victor Rhines stamped on it. They won't get that brave with it on a fake product usually. Uh, so if it has the actual brand name, they actually get sued for copyright by doing that. So they they try to name everything as OEM when it's not. So this is OEM Rhines for Porsche gasket set, right? You go down here at the very bottom on the eBay ad and it shows you brand OEM Victor Rhines. Like that's factory stuff. It has all the original part numbers, all that stuff. And we go over here to some of these other ones and this one is OEM engine gasket set, but there's no Victor Rhines, there's no L ring, there's no na name brand on it anywhere. And we keep rolling down the bottom of here and brand name OEM engine gasket set. That seems a little fishy because it's, it's real fishy, right? So here they have OEM spelled out just normal as you type it in. We go over to here, they have OEM gasket set, but it's O period, E period, M period. They're like, man, that's kind of, why would you put periods by it? Well, the reason why they put periods by it, if you go down here and look, the brand name is OEM. That's the actual brand name, it's not OEM. And a lot of times what they'll put on here is, um, like for power tools, like a, a no-name battery, they'll put Makita battery or DeWalt battery. But in the ad it says, fits Makita or you know fits or four DeWalt impacts they never say it it actually is a Makita or name brand impact or tool or car part or anything they dance around just enough not to get struck off eBay by selling fake stuff that's why lately you never see them put Victor Ryan's in the ad on car parts too much because uh, it's hard to dance around that it's for Victor Ryan's because it's not possible um, and here's the whole run up of it. So that's the scam here lately. Uh, it's been like that for a little while, but they're just getting a little more upfront with it right now. Usually they would put their board a little bit different than just putting OEM in it. And probably nobody ever thought they would change their company name to OEM. And that's what they've done. Uh, this, these parts here are getting sold under Globe Impex or something like that. There's a thousand different stores. Usually they're in California or Florida. Um, what's known in Rockford, Illinois, I think, Chicago. And they'll use like a hub in those cities. So when they go to list it on eBay, this is a, a five-year-old trick they've been using, 10-year-old trick. They go to list it on eBay, they can sell it here, right? So what they've been doing is shipping all the stuff to a warehouse in a major city. Then they list it from that warehouse or from their house down the road from the warehouse and they ship everything out. Now, unfortunately, what you get a few times on eBay is it'll say it's here in the States, but it's not. And then you won't know until you order it and you get the first tracking instead of shipping from California, it's shipping from China. But I think eBay's pretty much crunched that for a lot of those guys and banned a lot of those guys from doing that. There is that. Now on Amazon, it's very, very difficult to tell on Amazon if something's here in the States or not, or a different country because they don't specify on the ad where it's located at. If it's on Amazon Prime, it's here in the Amazon warehouse. So it used to be a few months ago when Amazon Prime is still a thing, you'd have it in one or two days where we live at. Amazon Prime now is a shell of what it used to be. So now it takes us a week, a week and a half to get something off Prime. If you still live in the major city, you might get Amazon themselves, Amazon delivery driver to bring you something within the same day or the next day. But for everybody else that has to rely on UPS or USPS, God forbid, uh, or FedEx, you know, it's a week to week and a half to get anything at all. That's unfortunate because a lot of guys like where we're at, 
uh, middle of nowhere, we could have tools and stuff immediately. And now that's no longer the case. So now we're sitting around waiting for everything all the time. Uh, but yeah, that's just kind of the latest scam I've seen. I've seen it got a lot worse very recently. So I thought I'd bring it up. It goes the same way for all this stuff, all this gasket sealer. You gotta be real careful buying anything off of there. The spark plug game, you guys heard me talk before about the spark plug game. It's, uh, that's an issue. You know, the only spark plugs right now I buy, usually some like Rock Auto. If you go to AutoZone and pick them up off the shelf, usually they're real. Um, if not, you're gonna get a fake knockoff and a printed out box that looks like NGK that you can't tell the difference until you put them in and misfire, your car misfires. Um, right now you can still buy them at some local stores and they're still legit. I think that's gonna change too. Same with ignition coils, uh, with all you 06 and up BMW guys. There's a Bosch store on Amazon. You can still get legit stuff on. If you buy it from Amazon or on eBay, that's not from the Bosch place or not from a, even legitimate seller can sell those. They may not know they're their knockoffs. It's getting so hard for suppliers to buy stuff. If you buy from the Bosch store on Amazon, you can definitely guarantee they're going to be real. They seem to have pretty fair prices. Obviously, there's always going to be some for 50 bucks for a set of six or set of eight. Uh, but for all you BMW guys, 06 and 05 and up uh, with the push-ins type coil packs, um, well, hell, even 02 on some cars, uh, you know, you're still pretty safe to buy those. But you could definitely buy some Bosch, Bosch coil packs that look legit. You cannot tell them apart and you put them and they just don't work. They're not worth the crap. And those would be the Chinese knockoffs. So that's pretty much going to be it guys. I don't think there's anything else I cover on this. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, but that's my recent findings. We'll see you probably tomorrow with another video. We'll see y'all later. Have a good day.